All right, everybody, welcome back to Link's Awakening. No, 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 no. I get to welcome back. This is my playthrough. Daniel's had his secret of mana. This is Donald. I am back. We are going to redeem myself here, sort of that. But Daniel is along with us. We decided to trade out the Chowini, um for Daniel. Uh, yeah, um, we'll see dog. how that works out for us. Oh. If you start biting us, then we're going to have to have issues. Well, I'm, gonna um, say, I'm, I'm not on the couch with you, so that helps. I, that's always a pleasant thing um, for that. So... FYI, it's been a while since we've gone ahead and been playing this series. So you're... Uh, like I said, it's been a while. It's been a while. Uh, but I uh, just want to go ahead and note, so the file that we had saved is gone. Now, if you are watching from the previous <coughs> video, you'll notice, hey, you're in the same place. A couple things that are different. Um, there were four secret seashells that I had that were gotten off screen uh, due to some editing. Um, those have been basically put back so instead of at 26 seashells i'm at 22 um for that um also um if you remember the blunder that was the color dungeon where i died multiple times um i have gone ahead and right now i have no deaths on this file oh snap um for that um, unfortunately i did kill the slime boss i had not done that in our previous videos we will be but showing him off somewhere we, else though we will be showing him off other places um, other than that, Jack is also here with us. What's up? Hey. I mean, it's kind of his channel, so. <laughs> so, but we're in Catfish Maw in Martha's Bay. Um, for that, found out that Martha's Bay named after the mermaid that we talked to. Uh, Her name is Martha. For sense. that. All that said, all right, let's go. All I right. was just telling Jack that uh, watching the previous videos of that it inspired me to go through and do a, a master mode run. The problem with Master Mode is everything does double damage, and there are no health drops in the entire game. The so only no places hearts to get, at all? The only places to get health are at Fairy Fountains, or from Crazy Tracy's Medicine. That's insane. That's and you can't, you can't carry any of that with you into dungeons, right? Well, fairies can still be found at Fairy Fountains, so you can still bottle fairies to bring with you. Okay. But when you go against the first boss, and you have four hearts, and he does two hearts a hit... Mm. Yeah, I could see that being uh, problematic. Alright, so the feather lets you jump, right? Yes. yes, rock's feather. Rock's feather. Allows you to jump. Now, in this particular dungeon, we are going to be looking for the hook shot. So, like, grappling hook? Um, <laughs> more or less. It has a, a, a bit of more of a weapon property to it than just a regular grappling hook. Huh? Oh, this particular room, by the way... You're going to be seeing this particular room quite a bit later. Spoilers. This exact same room? or This exact same room. Okay. Yeah. So not a different room with the same layout, but... No. No, this exact room. Okay. Feels like a puzzle related. Also, um... Gosh. So the last time we recorded this was 2019. That's correct. The last time we posted one of these was, I guess, 2021? Roughly. I'm very, very slow when it comes to editing and producing videos, uh, which I'm sure anyone who follows the channel closely would know by now. Um, man, 2019 actually feels like a crazy amount of time between recording Cause, sessions. Because it is. COVID happened since then. COVID oh, happened. Another oh, Pokemon happened. game happened. A what presidency. I was going to say Biden happened. <laughs> yeah, Biden. You had a child? I do have a child. She just turned three this summer. Since uh, since we first started this? I got married? Crazy. How's that working out for you, by the way? It's great. I mean, she's just reading the books about how to hide bodies and lights and kind of things, so... <laughs> I in, we just did a Secret of Mana video, and I told them that um, Becca read a whole book yesterday, and the book is about this woman who kills her husband, and then since then the joke has been she's also been reading books about how to hide bodies, uh, how to get away with murder, insurance fraud, uh, the works. You're just getting your butt kicked, Donald. These are like shield-ons, it looks like. Yeah. It, it, actually, if you go by tr traditional Zelda gaming, they're mini Helmosaurs. Because the Helmosaurs were, was a boss in Link to, Link to the Past. Uh, okay. So, in, in... Instead of being more... Uh, more technical, as it were. Um, don't you want to... I, I don't remember where you're going. You know where you're going better than I do. That's the... That is the hope. 
they also announced, um, not necessarily a sequel to this game. Somewhere in the style, a, though. A spin-off, or, or maybe a... So a lot of people are looking at the map and saying it looks like the Link to the Past map. Okay. Um, but it's it, but it's this art style. It's this art style with echoes echoes of wisdom. Echoes, of, yeah. Is that coming out this year? Mm. Next month. Next month? Yes. Oh my gosh. So this is Master Stapos. He's a master of getting really blown just up. falling apart for the most part. Oh, we all gotta be good at something. Yeah, it's good to have a hobby. He's also good at running away like a coward. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so now, that wasn't hey, Now, one. go back to the room real quick. Look at the tiles on the floor. You see how there's the one colored? Mm hmm That's gonna be important. Okay. It was the far top left. <laughs> Basically, I... he took what was in the chest. Oh, okay. I didn't get to read the text. Sorry. But, no, that's okay. And basically, that's where the hookshot was. Ah. Uh. But, but he was like, nah, nah, took it. Nah. Oh. Don't care. Now look at the tiles. Okay. Top right. Now, how many? Two. Now, uh... You have to see. You have to fight this boss multiple times, but you have to find him in specific rooms in a specific order. Oh. So if you went back to that first room, would he show up again? No. Oh, interesting. So it's showing you the rooms that you have fought him in, not the next room that you need to fight him in. Well, if you go to like, if he were to, if Donald were to go to the third room that he he has to fight him in before he went to the second one, he wouldn't be there. You have to do them in order. Gotcha. Well, you may want a fairy. Yeah, that would be a good idea. I think you're trying to rush too much. I may be trying to rush too much. Can you kill those fire things? Yes, but not yet. Eventually. Eventually. Look at the tiles. This is the third room. <laughs> but the tiles going across, like that pattern of tile, doesn't match the pattern of the dungeon tiles, do they? Um, I don't know. But just the fact that there's three of them colored in. Mm -hmm. They're also vaguely shaped like a skull. Yeah. Boom. You guys feel like this was a faithful, like, remake? I think that this was a very good remake in that it exposed this game to an audience that may not have otherwise played it. Mm -hmm. I think there are That's... certain things about this game um, that make it a great deal easier. There are some things that are harder, though. Like what? What's easier and harder? The fishing's easier. Um, 100% of the game is harder. There's it, more collectibles. Indeed. Mm -hmm. that, that, that is a big thing, because there wasn't... There weren't the figurines. I don't think there were heart pieces. They were just hearts. No, there were heart pieces. There weren't as many. Okay. When you say figurines, you mean like the stuffed plushies? No, like the statues that Donald's oh. placing around town. The, the Goomba and the blooper that he got from the crane game. Yeah. Those didn't exist originally. Crane game was a thing, though. It yes. was, but it had a very different form. The only the only thing you really needed to get from the crane game in the original was the Yoshi doll. That's okay. true. After you got the Yoshi doll, you never went back because you had no reason to. Everything was on a conveyor belt that went around instead of you had the moving things in the back and then there were some stationary items. Nice. He's not a terribly hard boss. He's not. He's not even really the mini boss. He's just annoying. <laughs> a thief. Um, and it's sad because I would have liked to have seen him in other games, um, like this. But I maybe we'll see him in the next game. Take it. Take it. So I am 
abusing Mambo's Mambo. Because it's faster. Because it warps me back to the beginning. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, you're going to hear that song a lot. That a lot. That's okay. <coughs> but it is more memorable than, say, the acorn and piece of power. Now that I have the hook shot. Oh, that's cool. In the original version, they weren't Helmet Swords. They were these little blob enemies called Iron Masks. You still had to hit them from the front, but if you hit them in front with the hook shot, it pulled the mask off. Mm -hmm. And they were just, they were really just slimes with fleet. Yeah, they pretty much just function the same way you just saw. So that lets you grapple, like, anywhere like that? Not anywhere. It's certain certain blocks. It has, yeah, that have to be something that you would you, 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 you would normally... Like, you can't do it on a, on a plain wall. Yeah. Okay, so not like a rock wall, but like a... Like the brown blocks he can do, but the sides of the room he cannot. Right, like I the stone wall versus the... Yeah, yeah that makes sense. I think I need, to, I need to go under the water. Oh, nice save. Yeah. Oh. See, th those are the small little things where every time I come through, I'd be getting hit by those things. You played enough Zelda games, because they've been around since the very first Zelda game. Worst case of acne ever. Yeah. Don't you want to go... Oh, yeah, you do want to go across here. You're right. Oh, nice. That is the only way to cross that room. I mean... Oh, I don't know that you even... It is, it's a skill issue with... Uh... It's not. It's just, just you can't cross the room without the hookshot. Alright. And a key. And again, trying to go ahead and do this in the most efficient way possible. As we go to the later dungeons... Efficiency is going to wane a little um, bit. for that. So, but that... that ah! <laughs> That's also not efficient. <laughs> Speaking of efficiency... Is that because... Oh, was that a fairy? It, it was. Is. Nice. Um, is that because it just gets difficult? Efficiency just kind of becomes like... Eagle's Tower, despite the fact that all my both beaten this game probably over a dozen times each, Eagle's Tower is just a nightmare. There's no two ways around it. Okay, sure. It sucks and I hate it, and it yeah. sucks and I hate it. <laughs> That's fair. Sometimes you just gotta call it what it is. Oh, sorry. That's gonna happen a few times too, just be prepared for that. Yes. So, if you play, these are Gomas. If you played enough Zelda games, then you probably recognize this boss. And generally, the thought is you fire arrows into their eyes. But these particular ones, you don't need to. But originally, that was the only way to beat them was to shoot them in the eyes with arrows. Uh, which in the original Zelda sucked because every time you fired an arrow, it cost a rupee. So if you weren't keeping up with your rupees, and you came across the room with a goma in it. Soft lock. <laughs> yeah. Or, no, no, you just die. <laughs> or you just, yeah. You just die. <laughs> nice. And, yep, there you go. Are the fairies? The gomas have, gomas have been in several Zelda games. They, they, they were in Ocarina of Time. They were. They were in the. They were the. The Goma was the boss of the Deku Tree, the very first dungeon. Now, if, oh. I, if I'm correct, that thing is going to go ahead and lead me back. So I'm going to actually warp back because there's some other keys that I need to grab. And then when we are done with this, we will go and do a little cleanup around Martha's Bay. We're going to be environmentally friendly. Or something along those lines. The people love that. Yeah, wow. Well. <laughs> Only in their dreams. These guys look annoying, these skeletons. Oh, yeah, they are. But, yeah. So I'm still I'm waiting to see the uh, the room that we're going to see a lot. Oh, no, no, no. Not, not in this dungeon. Just later, you're going to see that particular room a lot. Oh, uh, okay. I misunderstood. It's fine. I wasn't clear. Now I think I need to... So the, the, the stone beak in this dungeon tells you to dive where the torches cross, mm. and in that room where they intersect is where he just dove into the water. Oh, okay. 
So what? that the game does tell you about that, and that's but we already know, so we don't need to talk about Hell Statue. Were these underwater portions in the original game? Yes, yes. they were. Okay. But it's always nice when you can, you know, Mario has has been a prey to bloopers so many years, and it's nice to kind of just like as Link, just like I have a sword. Give them another enemy. Yeah. It's funny in Oracle of Time, there's if you get an upgrade to the flippers called the Mermaid Suit, and there's one dungeon where half the time you're literally underwater, and the only item you have is your sword. Oh wow. You move very fast with the mermaid suit, don't get me wrong. That dungeon is is a pain in the butt, though, because there's a lot of diving and surfacing, and it's basically a water temple, a 2D water temple. <laughs> okay, that's what I was about to ask, because it, it sounded very water temple-ish. Has anyone beaten uh, Tears of the Kingdom? I'm still, no. on the, I'm still on the tutorial island. <laughs> I, remember, I just don't have the time. Yeah, when it came out, I got it. Played it for like four or five hours. I got to the Sky Temple, wherever, whichever one you meet the bird, the avian bird, whatever his name is. As opposed to other kinds of birds, uh, like penguins. <laughs> you dirty person. You're getting a lot of uh, rupees here. Yeah, I'm going to need them. Really? Yes. For if we are going to try and collect everything, then yes. Alright. So the real Do you want me to kind of spoil it now or Um no, we can hold on to it for a while. Okay. Let's we, just say uh, we're if... gonna go on a uh, on a little bit of a spending spree. Oh, okay. Let's just say if if the if the game if you wanna one hundred percent this game, you have to spend like your I don't know. Basically, spend like the government. Okay. <laughs> Bill More billions less. and billions and billions. Now, now would be a good time to work back. Now, are there like rupee farms? There is. We technically built a rupee farm. You can you can do that later. You can. Yes. To where in about five minutes you can make about three to four hundred rupees. Okay. About a hundred a minute-ish, somewhere in there. More or less. Yeah, more or less. All Goombas right. look so much more evil in this game than... I know, right? Why are you going up there? You don't need to go... Oh, you want the hearts. Okay. I love how you're like, Don't! You don't! Oh, alright. I understand. Boom! <laughs> What do you do? You feel good about your chance of getting a, a deathless run? Yes. Really? Yes. Ooh. So. Honestly, the hard part's over. Really? Yeah. Because he has so many hearts now, it's very hard to kill him. Oh, okay. It's kind of like when I hit that certain point in Super Metroid when I had like six or seven energy tanks. Yeah. It's like I may intentionally take damage, but I have so much health it doesn't matter anymore. Right. Now there are a couple of rooms I have not explored. There's nothing in them. But there's nothing in them. Okay. For that. There's Skip. no reason to go ahead and if go. You look the this, if you look at the shape of the dungeon, it's kind of shaped like an eel. Yeah. It's kind of shaped like an eel. That's cool. Boss time. This boss sucks. I, well, he, he bites. Yeah, a little bit. Gee, I shall eat you. Oh. Oh. I see jumping over his tail in your future. Yes, very attempt, much. So. He's going to attempt to. Slime eel. Also, also true. So. Jump grapple? Uh, you have to. You'll see. Yeah. <laughs> He's doing it again, do you know? I. You are. That's going to go to the other side. Oh, nice. Yeah, unfortunately, you, unfortunately, that you have to have to hit him. So you can just like pull him out super far. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, one. I hit the. See now, this is this is the thing. It doesn't happen necessarily have a pattern, but when you get a chance, you need to. 
Oh, I see. Okay. Beat the holy stuffing out of him. So you really just have to kind of position yourself in a way. You just have to pray and hope. Where you can. I mean, more or less. Hit one or two of the holes. See, that one's a fake. You oh. can tell by the zombie eyes. If you pull it out, it just comes out all the way and chases you around the room for a little bit. Yeah. Mm. There you go. So that was a good pull, not a good follow through. Oh. I will say, in the Game Boy version, this boss, much harder. Oh, yes. that's it? Yeah. Because yeah. Oh. He, he, he retracted faster than the Game Boy version. Mm. He does. So there you go, one of those instances of uh, it being a little bit easier mm -hmm. in some ways, but harder in other ways. Mm -hmm. And another heart. You know, if you look at all the Zelda games, Link has carried around a lot of stuff in around with him one time, but in this game, the dude's carrying around an entire orchestra. <laughs> what do you got in that backpack there, Link? Philharmonic. <laughs> That's like the uh, Star Bomb song. Do you, you ever hear the one about Link carrying... Uh, they do like a rap about how he's carrying everything. No. Oh, I'll have to play that for you between I've episodes. heard it, but it's been a long time, so I don't remember. I remember the Chill Out Groove. <laughs> Which um, one's but that? That was uh, in regards to something else that Link did not want to carry. Dangerous to go alone, take this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the island's secret in the shrine. Or shrine. I, I, I can't read. Shrine. Let me show them what we um, So here's another thing that yes. people will notice, hopefully not as much. Uh, for whatever reason, Donald Switch it just really struggles with the loading screens. So like, you may not even be hearing this. <laughs> I'll, I'll probably leave this in just to explain it, but anytime we hit a loading screen, we're going to hard cut until it loads, because it can be like like minutes before the game loads again. So. Yeah. So, But this is a good time for us to you know, maybe ask some introspective questions, get to know each other, <coughs> reflect on where we've been, what has been... We just be a man of beast. Uh, yeah. Just be a man of beast? No, beat. Beat. We just beat a man of beast. We just beat a man of beast. <laughs> Today is about getting things done. Bringing closure to those things that have been left open. Staring at the white screen and looking back and... Wondering what's the point of it all. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we here? Why are we waiting? <laughs> <laughs> Why does my Switch hate Link's, you so much? Link's Awakening, brought to you by Hardee's. <laughs> yeah, from the makers of Hardee's. I'm just going to rag on them all day, aren't we? Pretty hey, much. They yeah. earned it. <laughs> they deserve it. I just am what He's literally what he's doing is he's walking back through the dungeon to get outside. That's <laughs> that's what's going on right now. And it's now. a casual stroll. He's, he's not not yeah, he's not rushing at all. He's like, "Listen, you carry a piano on your back and see how you work." Or uh, it was a marimba, right? Uh, a marimba, a xylophone, something one of those. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Whatever it was. Ah, look at that. And we're back. Actually, if you ever, did, did you ever play Hyrule Warriors? Uh, I did not play Hyrule Warriors. But you're familiar with the game, though. Yeah, the like, Marin the is actually one of the characters in that game. Who was? Marin, the girl. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. And her weapon is the Sea Lily Bell from the uh, Instruments of the Siren. Really? Yes. How does she fight with it? Uh, she summons water and the wind fish with it. Oh, that's cool. She's actually one of my favorite water characters to use. Do you like those sorts of games? Uh, I, I liked Hyrule Warriors. I did not like the sequel to Hyrule Warriors. Uh, Ganon's Calamity or something like that? Yeah, it was that, basically right? a prequel to Breath of the Wild. And the gameplay just was not nearly as satisfying. Did you ever play, um... Oh, shoot. Fire Emblem... Warriors? Warriors. I have it. Do you like it? I enjoy it. Yeah, it's not bad. Oh, Donald, if you knew how to missile, this would be so much easier. <laughs> Yes, well, guess what? I'm gonna have to show that off for Jack how to how to miss a little. I could probably do it, but it was just like to take the five minutes to take the time when we're trying to go ahead and it, the pause menu is not a full screen transition. It does not take five minutes. <laughs> no, you, you're. I'm talking about my skill level. Oh. <laughs> so th this is the first Zelda game that had bomb arrows, basically, but you had to make them yourself. Oh, interesting. 
Um, but the way you did it is if you equipped the bow and... And this is actually even in the original Game Boy version. If you equipped the bow and arrow and the bombs at the same time and then pushed both buttons at once, bomb arrows. Oh, so it wasn't an intentional design? No, it was intentional. Oh, they just don't tell you. They don't yeah. hold hands you for it. Again, oh. you did that to yourself. I have no sympathy for you. You yeah, did the I same did. thing last night. Yes. No! No, oh. no, 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 no. So... I don't know if you remember this little guy from the first time we saw him. Because it's been a while, because that was like episode two. And we've already established that was five years ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do remember this guy. Last time, Donald doubled his magic carrying capacity. Probably do the same thing, right? Now we're, double no, now we're doubling bombs. Oh, okay. Works for me. Sounds like a good thing to double up on. So, you can choose, actually. You can either you can double your magic, your bombs, or your arrows, but arrows are the least useful, because you if you know all the ins and outs, you need the arrows exactly once in the entire game. Have we already passed that point? We have not. Oh, interesting. Like, 60 bombs. Yeah, that's... that's, that's he's that's, never going to run out of bombs That's a good again. amount of bombs. Yeah, it really is. Do a lot of damage with those bombs. So, doubling the bombs thing is actually something that's been around since the original Zelda. You had to pay. Because originally you could carry eight. Mm -hmm. And then in one dungeon you could find you could find an old man and pay him like a hundred rupees to double your carrying capacity. Mm -hmm. And okay. then in a later dungeon you could find another old man to pay a hundred rupees to double your carrying capacity again. Mm -hmm. There's things about the first Zelda that are really, really good that I wish they would have left in. Um, and there's some things about the original Zelda where it's just like... That, that was a limitation of, of the time. Where are you going, Donald? Secret Passage? Oh, we're cleaning up the environment now. Yes. We are gonna... Okay. Then you're gonna go back to Canelot? On... Okay. Yes. Remember we had discussed, hey, it might be better to do it that way. I don't remember. These it's not like it was five years ago. It was only 48 hours. I have ADD. I... Is... Those are heart pieces, right? Not yes. Okay. A full heart is completely red, not a heart within a heart. So when I was a kid, I had Oracle of Seasons and Ages on Game Boy. Mm -hmm. mm, those are such good games. That's pretty much my only experience with early Zelda. And then early Zelda? It's Game Boy Color. What are you talking about early Zelda? Early Zelda... For him. For me, yeah. Okay, fair. Um... After that, it was watching friends play Ocarina and Majora's Mask on their 64s, which I never had. My problem with Ocarina of Time, and this was point, and this isn't an original thought from me. This is something that was fed to me by a video. Is there's so much waiting. Mm. So, not to interrupt your diatribe there, but um, so if you remember last time we played, um, we got the scale from Martha, and you were trying to figure out where it goes. Mm. Oh. Yes. That's where, where it goes. It? That's where it goes. And this ah. is the end of the trading sequence. Kind Yoshi of. Yoshi doll to... Okay, hold on. Let me think Yoshi doll to bow to dog food to bananas to stick to honeycomb to pineapple to hibiscus to letter to broom to fishing hook to necklace to scale to the magnifying lens. And magnifying lens does You're what? gonna find out here in a minute. So that previous room was empty, right? They were invisible. Oh, interesting. And you do need the magnifying lens to beat the game because you, there's a certain book in the library you have to read. Hey, 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 we'll get there. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I thought I was commenting. That's later in the game? How late? Not really. Oh, not very far. Yeah. Grappling hook seems pretty useful. Oh, it's, 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 it's amazing. Basically, like unlimited bow and arrow. Not quite. There's the one. Bow has more range. Oh, okay. Animal village. <coughs> like we came into this house the last time, the animal village. It was empty. Or was it? Or loading the screen can just you know, <laughs> see block us all. <laughs> I remember this guy. You could no, you. You couldn't have remembered it, and you could not see him last time. No, got it? I remember this room. Yes, Sorry. fair enough. I just want to live in peace. 
It's a shiny Zora, Donald. It is a shiny Zora. Oh, he gave you a shell. Yeah, I kind of wanted to put him in a Pokeball, though. But I'll just... Yeah, so, I'll just... Hey, everybody, there's a Zora living in this house. Yeah, by the way, FYI... If he, if he Since Donald skips to the dialogue, basically he gives you the seashell in order to keep your mouth shut, not tell anybody that he's there. Yeah, That's and fine. then there, he also says, hey, there's a cave down at the beach that you should probably check out. Um, and we will do that eventually. I love that at, at, because the way Yarna Desert is laid out and the timing of it, you can go in and you get everything in one go and then never get visited again. Yeah. Oh, really? We're, we're never, we're basically crossing, uh, we're at the point now where we're just crossing off Areas. Things on our map. Oh, missile. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. So. Clean up the environment. Yes. Like, we're never going to come back to Animal Village again after this. We are uh, not. Well, we had some good times. There was a, Didn't we, like, give somebody a letter in Animal Village? We, Christine Got the goat. Remember Christine. she was kidding? <laughs> yes. I do. <laughs> She's the one who gave us the letter. We gave her We gave her a hibiscus and she ate the darn thing. Yeah. So... After all of the searching, I kept bugging her about why is she not giving us the secret city shell when we were in there. Mm -hmm. Only to find out we had to do the whole letter quest first before. Yep. So. I didn't even see the um, cracks in the stone wall to get in here. Really? Yep. Shows you how uh, not observant I am with this game. Sometimes it helps to just know. That's true. Is it every four or five? Every four. It's every four. every four. The only game it wasn't four was Link. Uh, I'm sorry, Twilight Princess, where it was five. It was five. Yeah, Twilight Princess was stupid like that. <laughs> I really liked that game. No, as it was a good game, but the five heart pieces thing made no sense whatsoever. Yeah, it's a weird dev choice to break uh, it's just, just had like more that. collectibles in there when mm. you already had like the bugs and everything to collect too you know oh that's right I forgot about the bugs cause you had that little like grapevine looking thing on the side of the screen did that uh, track the bugs no that's the, those are the light things that, I'm talking like actual bugs that you traded into the one little girl in order to get different unlocks oh. Daniel count are we good uh I don't know let me look. Okay. Uh, you got that. You got that. You got that. You got... You, you're not... You haven't gotten that yet. You got that. You got that. Okay, we're good. All right. Well, we are going to go ahead and call this episode here. Oh, snap. So we have plundered the bay. We're pirates. Um, you will remember this is the day that you almost caught... Captain Jack Sparrow. And a bunch of loading screens. And a bunch of loading screens. <laughs> we, we, you did catch those loading screens. We did catch the loading screens um, for that. So we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye. Later. Later.